In this video, we're going to discuss complements and how they relate to probability. So the source below states that 68% of Chinese men and 3.2% of Chinese women are smokers. So we can use this as an example to compute some pretty simple probabilities. So notice that these are given in percentages. But first, let's use some good notation and define our event. So the event is just something that happens. Let's call our event A, um, just because usually A is at the beginning of the alphabet. A is equal to a Chinese man um, smoking. So it's pretty specific here. Maybe you would be less specific and just say A equals smokes and uh, ignore the part about the Chinese man. Um, B, let's say a Chinese a woman smoking. Ugh. Apologize for that. So we've defined our events. If you have a lot of events, it's helpful to keep them all um, uh, kept track of by giving them letters. And also it's a really, it's a shortcut. Instead of writing this entire thing out with your probability notation, you can just simplify it with A, B, C, or however many letters you need. So we can go ahead and assign some probabilities to these. I mean, they've been given in the, the sentence up here. Now we can use our notation and say P of A, so A was a Chinese man smoking. The chances of that happening was 0.68. So I've gone from percent notation to probability, the decimal notation. Same thing with P of B. The probability that a Chinese woman smokes is 3.2% or move the decimal place two to the left, we get 0 0.32. So this is just using good probability notation to write out these percentages from the sentence. The complement rule is all about the word not. So the, the chances of something not happening. Now you can define your event however you want and then the complement is that thing not happening. So in our case A was a Chinese man smoking so we can just insert the word not and then we have the complement. There's a couple different notations for complement. So complement, we could see it as a bar. That's how you write say that. You could see it with A with a little C. So that would be A C or A complement. Or sometimes you see it A with a little apostrophe. All of those notations mean complement. It just depends on who was writing the textbook and what notation they chose. So P of a bar or a complement is equal to the chances of a Chinese man not smoking. So if you have 100% of men accounted for, if 68% smoke, then the rest do not smoke. So we take one minus the probability of A. And this applies to event B as well. The chances of someone not smoking is equal to 1 or 100% minus the chances of someone smoking. So we'll take 1 minus 0.68 and we will get equal to 0.32. So the probability of a Chinese man not smoking is about 32%. I'm going to go ahead and write out a bar equal to Chinese man not smoking. So there's that word not. Now if we defined our event differently, maybe A means the chances of someone not smoking and then the complement would be smoking. So again, you can define your event however you like and then just throw in the word not or maybe remove the word not for your complement. So let's say that we now have a sample size in our problem. 
we have 100 Chinese men, and when they were sampled, it yielded 68 smokers. So the probability of A is equal to 68 out of 100, or you'd do the division and get 0.68. If you wanted to find the complement, find the probability of that complement, P of A bar, well, we still have 1 minus, and we'd say maybe 68 out of 100. Sometimes some textbooks show you with the fraction instead of going to the decimal. To figure out the complement, if you know 68 people are smoking, then the balance, so how many up to 100, would be non-smokers. We'd say 32 out of 100. So nothing fancy here. All I figured out was 100 minus 68, and that's how I came up with 32 people who were not smokers. And then you could turn this into a decimal, 0.32. So a couple things to notice here. The word complement, notice how it has the E there. That's how we spell it in math land. In an English class, you would probably spell it with an I, and that's when you say something nice about a person. But in math class, complement is spelled with an E. And uh, another way to see the complement, there's two ways actually. I've already written it once. P of A bar is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. But these work backwards as well. I can find the probability of event A, and it is equal to 1 minus the probability of not A, the complement of A. And this is all from one formula that says the probability of some event plus the probability of its complement is equal to 1. So the chances of something happening plus the chances of something not happening, those are the only two options that are possible. It adds up to 1 or 100%. So the 1 is like 1.0, which is like 100%. Either one of these formulas works. It just depends on how your formula was defined. And uh, that's a little bit about complements.